G'day guys. What a um, what an exquisite afternoon on an exquisite <laughs> boat. Um, we're on the Safe 42. This is the walkthrough video. We have just been for a test drive. If you're interested in how this carbon fiber absolute ultimate day boat drives, follow the link coming up on the screen now. I'll also leave a, a link in the description below. Um, German made, uh, car manufacturers and enthusiasts and boat manufacturers combine the two heads and this is what you get. Carbon fiber, vacuum infused, um, cord hull. The whole thing's carbon. The hull is 1.6 ton. The, the total weight's 4.5 ton. It's um, half the weight or less than half the weight of your average boat this size. We know that because we've tested a bunch of boats this week and they've all been around 10 ton yep. uh, of this size. So um, the, the feeling that you get on the water of this boat is amazing, but the feeling that you get doing this and pulling up at the marina is unbeatable. It really is unique. So what are we talking about? Um, these guys, I think they had a mission from, from what I understand from talking today on how to create the ultimate, most refined performance machine and package it up into something that is completely awesome looking. And, and I, I believe from what I have just seen and experienced, they've, they've achieved that. Um, what are we looking at here? Well, Ali, you're my official Sun Lounge chef. Everyone, this is my cousin Ali, by the way. She's uh, in France for the week. Hanging 12 out. out of 10. Yep. <laughs> so you got to have a Sun Lounge like this. How's the angle? Pretty good. Yep. Wait, let's test it. Okay. There's cushions in the way. But so what's okay. going on here? We've got nice stitched upholstery. We've got some grab handles here, um, some uh, courtesy lights just there. Part of the moulding, we see a lip just here, and this folds up electrically. We'll do that. Uh, we'll cut to that shot, and that gives you access to the Volvo petrol V8s. They are down below. Next thing, um, I don't know if you can get this in shot. This swim platform is absolutely epic. So you've just got oodles of space here. This is a day boat, so you'd expect it. So walking around, having a party, jumping in the water, socialising with your friends, it's, it's ideal for that. We have got a gyro stabiliser on right now, so the thing, it doesn't rock, like we are totally rock solid, but we've also got, I believe, a bit of natural stabilisation from this stern design, which is quite flat out the back here. Just here, that's gonna facilitate a carbon fibre pole for a sunshade. That's a pop-up cleat just there. Um, you got these beautiful, this has got Lamborghini vibes. So come and have a look at this. Hopefully you can get this in shot. Look at this, that just says race car vibes all over it just here. Look at the detail in here. This is like, this looks like, I believe this is faux teak. It's not real teak, which is good for the maintenance. This color is like absolutely exquisite in this sunlight. I, I just, I love it. We've got another pop-up. Uh, this is another a pole uh, facility for a pole, I would say for the sunshade to completely cover the decks in shade. Ali, come and have a seat at the lunch table. So you go from the sun lounge at the back and you get into the lunch area in the middle. Just check out all these carbon fibre details. Absolutely everything is in carbon on this boat, but we've got all our drink holders set into the table. The, you know, you, you can't have a boat like this without a champagne bucket holder. Nah. I think that's just absolute necessity. <laughs> but this table, it doesn't end there. It electrically lowers down to this position and then the seat bases from each seat fold over like that and that, and then this becomes another day bed. So day bed one facing aft, day bed two in this area to see, I'm, I'm watching the, uh, I'm watching where we are because we're just floating, we're not on the anchor. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and you'll easily get eight people around that table just there. But as you come up the sides, there's just carbon highlights and details everywhere. You've got a beautiful big storage area in here. That could be good for some fenders. We've got this whole ledge along here, which is great. Currently got beach towels in it. That makes perfect sense. And another ledge here, you know what I would do? I would put, when your guests get on board with their shoes, I'd say, take them off, put them in here. That's some, somewhere to get them out of the way. Um, got a courtesy light just here, stainless steel grab handle. And then we get into the heart of the boat. I'm actually just gonna reverse this up a little bit just so we clear these rocks. Even though we're quite a way away, I'll just give us a little bit of reverse momentum there so we're not drifting in 
too close. So come around here, maybe bring the camera around and just have a look at this whole area here. Um, this, is, this is the heart of the boat. Um, before we get to the helm, you've got this beautiful carbon fiber mast. Now, it's worth saying, a lot of you are gonna be watching from Australia and perhaps Miami, you can option these boats with a T-top. This particular boat is new, it has been purchased, it's going to, to Dubai and that owner didn't want a T-top, but it is possible and I've seen the designs and it's super stylish. But here we go, we've got this wing set up just here, we've got some down lights built in, radar mast, the carbon fiber comes down and in the middle, we've got our own little sink just here. Below the sink, we have this stainless steel fridge conveniently placed and we've got a drink holder on either side for these two passengers, which is a good little go fast seat to be near the driver and the navigator when you are running fast. And there is storage underneath both of those seats. So coming further forward, um, you have your big speakers, but once again, really beautiful detail with the Say logo, stainless steel speaker cover. That's gonna last a long time. You follow this carbon fiber um, detail, which then mates up to the forward windscreen and we get to the helm station. Ali, come and have a seat. Come and have a seat in the navigator seat. Like this is, it's a, it's a work of art. This, this is a boat, it's, okay. Well, sit in the driver's seat, that's, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you don't. <laughs> She doesn't know boats. She, when I say navigator seat, it doesn't make a lot of sense to you. My apologies. Um, but this is a, it's, it's a creation in itself. Like so much work has gone into creating this. And you even have a flip up bolster, which has got carbon, it's made out of carbon fiber. Like it's awesome. And it really works. Cause when we hooked this boat into some serious turns, um, you get a little bit of sideways pressure because when you turn, it will turn. It's just like, well, I was saying to the guys, it feels like some of the high performance racing sailing yachts that I've been on. And when you turn them, they've got this great big keel giving you directional stability and it turns, it goes. And, and this thing was, was just the same. But the, the helm style, this seat's adjustable. You've got the flip up bolster. You've got space underneath the wheel. So if you're a, a bigger guy, you can still be comfortable and drive this boat. And if you're a shorter guy like myself, you can bring this seat and adjust it to as you see fit. But I've got, starting from the starboard, working my way around, I've got my digital throttles, the Volvo throttles and the Volvo joystick just here. You've got your um, uh, electronic ignition start stop. That's gonna have the key fob on it as well for security. I've got my VHF and my safety just down here. Actually steps here and here, which is an alternative way to get to the bow as opposed to our Lamborghini Vibe at the back of the boat. I've got one of my flat screen Garmin displays here showing all custom say readouts and then my second uh, flat screen Garmin display on the port side which is giving us all our engine data which is again customized to this boat. We have the fusion control here, the side power and a wireless charging display, a wireless charging uh, point just below the helm just there and it doesn't end carbon fiber gorgeous little storage bins in front of the helm and inside them they're perfect for storing things but inside them you've actually got the anchor operation you've got the door operation which we're going to use in a sec and charging for your phone so it's for the detailed person for the person that appreciates the finer things and looks at the minute detail this is the boat you should be focusing on. So I'm just gonna give us a little bit more reverse throttle just to keep us away from those rocks. As beautiful as they are, I don't wanna to get too close. And then I'm gonna go up on the bow and then we're gonna check out down below. If you're interested in the engine bay, we will check out that at the end of the video. So keep watching if that interests you. So heading on up. Now, if you wanna pass the camera to me, um, just to keep this a safe transition, just this bow, how good is this light by the way? I love this time of the day. Um, this bow is amazing. So I've got waste fuel on starboard and an attachment point. I would suspect that's for the sunshade. Um, but you go forward and you have glass 
insert in the middle. So that's giving you a picture window view from the downstairs cabin. And then you've got all of this faux teak, which is going to be minimal on the maintenance. And that's just giving you the picture all the way around the boat, but it's obviously giving you grip underfoot as well. This is a beautiful painted part of the carbon. And let me just have a look over here. Okay, that's water in and fuel. So we must have two fuel tanks on this boat, I'm assuming. So everything's equal, it's all matching. We've got cleats, cleats, oh, quite a few cleats actually. We have aft cleats, two sets of midships cleats, forward cleat here, and a bow cleat. So actually, that's really good. That's really good. And I note that the cleats are mounted on the design of the hull, which is further out. So your ropes, when you attach your ropes, they're not gonna be rubbing or, or unlikely to be rubbing on the paint because you can probably tie the boat up in such a way having all those options, so that's cool. Coming forward, you can't miss the anchor locker. I don't actually know how to open this one. So let me just see if I can work it out. Um, otherwise, no, I'm not gonna do it. It might be electric, uh, but the anchor locker is under here. And just look at the detail of that bow. Like, it really is fine and unique. So come on with me guys, let's go downstairs and check out this cabin. And this is the other way to get down to the main deck. If you don't take those stairs, you can do the Lamborghini walk like we just did. Pass me the camera and then let's go downstairs because it doesn't end there. The door is full James Bond style. So I was telling you the door is a little bit of James Bond. Check this out. Door open, please. Do you reckon they worked it out? <laughs> See, there's, there's a switch just in there. But come on down. Seriously, this is so cool. Everything's carbon. So you just crouch down like this and you have a proper accommodation area down below. Like for a go fast, high performance oriented day boat, this is a really beautiful place to come downstairs and lounge out. I've got views out through both windows. I have this wonderful picture. So from my um, location here lying down in the bed, you would enjoy starry nights in this boat. It would be an absolute joy. But you've got, the, you know, the fit and finish in here is really well done. We've got carbon fiber lockers all the way up and down the sides. We've got air conditioning outlet there. We've got another locker here, speaker, some light switches just here. Um, these ledges would be okay for putting your phone. You've got padded elements just here and the mattress is very comfortable it doesn't end you've got access into the bilge just there charging little seat just here for sitting down and putting your shoes on but you can also through this sliding door here just give me the camera just get into the most james bond toilet that i've seen in a while so you've got a little shower stall there the loo is just underneath that pop-up seat just there and check out the finishings more carbon fiber check that out and then look at the roof it's tinted by the way and it that's this is frosted glass so nobody's going to see what you're doing at night time but look at that now i'll just sit down on that loo just to give you some perspective okay so it's actually quite a big headspace like I've got all this space. I can actually stand up in this shower with plenty of space above my head. So it's, it's very, very doable. But everything you touch, it's just so light because even the toilet lid is carbon. Like, how cool is that? It doesn't end there though, guys. So we slide this lightweight carbon door back closed. The, the door, the open door actually becomes your step. So it's just clever use of available space and units that like uh, that we have here and you go into a second bed so we do have some covers in here in my bag so i'm not going to lie on the bed but there is another bed here so you could actually sleep four people on this boat makes sense probably to use this as a storage area people are going to get on the boat with their their gear storage bag or their bags you know their soft bags i should say um just throw them down there you know unload phones and shoes and all that sort of stuff up on the deck and take those and put them just there. So come back up on deck. 
And I think we'll close this video over here looking at this beautiful helm and this wonderful French sunset. Um, so what's my wrap up on the Say 42? You know, if you are someone who is incredibly detailed in life, if you are someone who has high performance toys, whether that's cars or planes, um, or whatever else, could be race yachts. Um, and if you're someone who wants to be completely unique in what you do and how you do, go about it, um, this is a boat that's gonna interest you. Um, this is a boat that's gonna make you happy. And this is a boat that it's gonna give you, I think it's gonna give your friends an experience that they'll never forget. Like, how, well, you, how do you feel? You're, you're not the boater. I mean, I feel like this is like just seamless compared to a lot of other boats. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like it. Okay. like. So guys, that's it. Um, if you enjoy this content, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, we make this content for you. I fund the channel myself and hopefully one day by you too as well via the Patreon account. So please get on there and support us. My name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. Thank you. I'll see you on the next one.